Today we're gonna to be making lava lamps using stuff you can find around your kitchen. If you've ever made a vinegar bicarb volcano, the chemistry is very similar. Bicarb soda and vinegar react because one is an acid and the other one is a base. Acids and bases both contain different parts of water. Bases contain oxygen and hydrogen, while acids contain the other hydrogen needed to form water. These ingredients really want to hang out with each other, so they break away from the rest and create a reaction. You can find a list of ingredients needed in the description below. First we're going to take our bicarb soda and put it in our cup or jar. Now we need to measure out our oil. Put it in a jar with the rest of the bicarb soda. Make sure not to stir it up too much. Come on. Woo. Now let's pop this to the side and get another clean glass. Now measure out the vinegar and then pop it into the glass. If you want to make it coloured, pop a couple of drops of food colouring in the vinegar solution. Give it a quick stir to mix it in nicely. Now grab the oil mixture and pop in the vinegar solution. Now watch as the vinegar and the bicarb soda react. It might take a little while for it to actually react. I've sped this footage up a little bit. Oil and vinegar do not mix because even though the vinegar molecules are polar, the oil molecules are non-polar. This means that the polar vinegar molecules don't have anything to stick onto when they're mixed together. Luckily for us, the result is awesome blobs of oil mixed into the solution. 